All right, take number three. <laughs> what is up, everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Once again, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to play your songs in key, find the scale, the chords, help you build melodies a whole lot easier, and just pretty much make your beats overall sound a lot better and sound, you know, less out of tune or out of key or whatnot. There's two techniques I'm gonna be showing you. One is an older technique that I came up with, or I didn't really come up with. I think I saw it from somebody a long time ago, but I made it a video about it about two years ago, I think. And I'm gonna show you guys a new function that FL Studio 12 has that will make it a whole lot easier as well. So one is for anybody who uses 11 and below, and one is for people who use 12. So let's start off with the version of 12. Now, the reason I'm gonna show you these techniques because a lot of you guys are too busy focused on music theory and learning chords, account chords and all that, buying these videos, all that crap. Wasting your time. We want to make beats, and I'm going to show you a trick, quick way to kind of keep your stuff in key and in chords and help you out. Music theory is great to know, but it's not that important. You don't really need, you don't need it to make great beats. And a lot of people think you do. So let's start off with the easy way. So first I got this piano sound. Just piano VV2, which I'm going to be doing a you know, overview of all these new plugins from Arturia. But anyway, what you need to do is just go to your piano row. So just add your synthesizer or your plugin, whatever. Go to the piano row, and in the piano row, if you hit this little triangle button, you'll bring down the little taskbar or whatever. You go to helpers, and then you want to go to uh, scale highlighting. And this is where you can pick the key and the scale of your song that you want to play in it. So the root note would be the key you want to play in it. So uh, most time I play my beats are either in C sharp, maybe C, sometimes E or even A. And then, you know, once I choose my root note, you want to choose your scale that you want to play in. And there's a bunch of scales right here, all the way from minor to, to major to minor. And then some down here like Fijian and, you know, uh, what's the other one? Uh, yeah, Fijian, the uh, whole tone. It got, you know, diminished, blues, got all kind of stuff, you know, depending on what you're trying to play and what you're trying to go for and the sound you're trying to get. I would definitely say experiment with each scale because each scale will give you a different sound when you're, you know, building music. So uh, once you pick what you want, I'm just going to use uh, minor melodic because it's one of my favorite. Or, you know, sometimes, sometimes I use harmonic, but I like to use a melodic version. Uh, and what it's going to do is going to highlight your notes. As you can see, it's going to highlight your pretty much your agree and change it up a little bit. The black notes are where you want to avoid. You want to avoid them like the play because those are the notes that are out of the scale and not in the key of that you pick. And the lighter ones or the gray ones are the ones that are in key. So if I just go... And that is pretty much a C sharp melodic scale. Uh, and I didn't actually we have to go lower than that, but whatever. Whatever. You get the idea. You get the gist of it. So, you know. You know, it's in key. And that way, now you can start building chords. So, you know, I can go like this. Pick it up higher. You know, you can start building chords. And, you know, just messing around and make your chords and make your melodies and all that kind of stuff. Come up with that. Keep your bass line and all that in key and all that one thing i was keep in mind this is not perfect it's not going to be perfect you still need to listen and use your ears to hear what sounds right what's around our ears are our best tool in our studio and it can tell you when something sounds off or something sounds good or whatever so keep that in mind listen because sometimes even if you like say if i do like this that sound is it it's technically in the key and in the scale but it don't sound right so you know that sounds a whole lot you know, pleasing to the ear. So yeah, you got to listen and use your ears to make it. And like I said, this is not going to make you make better beats. You still got to know how to make beats, at least be able to hear when something sounds off or wrong. So that's the easy way to do it if you have FL 12 or newer, and it's going to keep going on. But say you have FL 11 or older, I'm going to show you a little technique that I used a long time ago. What you want to do is you want to make you like a little simpler, add like a little simpler plug-in uh, channel. You know, you always start off with one of these anyway, so just keep it. Don't delete it. Go to your piano roll. And you want to click these little three lines. I think the three lines are on F11. I think it's it's either that or it's like a, it's something. But it's like a little thing that says like it says like stamp or something like that. And you click it, and it's pretty much like a chord and scale builder. So what it lets you do, you need to use it to build chords, use it for the scales, which we're gonna use it for or other stuff. So what you want to do is pick your scales. It's got the same scales as the other one. So let's say I'm just gonna to go to minor melodic, and then you want to find C sharp. So I'm gonna do C sharp. And click it. And what it's going to do is pretty much build the scale to put the, all the notes that are in that scale. And as you can see, it's actually in the highlighted notes as before. So you know it's in the same scale. So it works. And then you just want to do it again. And then you want to control A, control C, control V. 
drag it up one, boom. Same thing, control V now, drag it down one. And then if you want to go even higher, you can do it again, go higher. And if you want to go lower, of course you can go lower. And then what I like to do is a control A and then drag it all the way across as long as my patterns are gonna be. Now, next step, you want to go to the triangle button. You want to go to view, I think it's either view, it's view uh, helpers. And you want to make sure your ghost channels are enabled. Because what that's going to allow you to do when you switch to another like sound or another channel, it's going to show you the ghost notes from that. So you can see now it's all highlighted the same way as before. You know, actually it's a little bit brighter too, as you can see if you do it this way. And now you can start, you know, building your chords like, like last time. Same, same principle. There you go. And you start building your chords, your melodies, keep stuff in key, make sure everything sounds right, and just makes it flow a whole lot better when you're making your beats. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Simple technique. Like I said, you still got to use your ears and all that. Uh, one thing you got to keep in mind when you're doing it, this method, if you go to a different pattern, it won't keep it. So you got, I will make everything in one pattern and then split the mixer channel and then go about doing it. So yeah, that's a little quick technique, two quick techniques to help you guys keep your stuff in key and in this great scale and make everything flow like better. It's great for, like I said, melodies, chords, bass lines, all that good stuff. I use it all the time, I do it all the time, and you guys should too, because it helps you out. And you can stop wasting time reading all these books about music theory or buying these videos and wasting money, or you know, just wasting time on the internet trying to figure it out. This will help you make beats a lot faster. A little workflow tip. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I put a poll in the top. It, just let me know, guys. Will you be using one of these techniques? Uh, yes, if you are. No, if you're not. You ready to just waste your time learning this stuff, or would you just use these techniques so you can make more beats faster? Let me guys. Let me know what you guys will be doing, so I can just kind of gauge it and see what my audience is on that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, you know who it is. It's your boy Slim, aka Mister Different, not motivated by the money. But you like, comment, subscribe, and view. So keep them coming. Thumb the video up, comment, share this, help your boy out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.